did. He took a child and did what? And set him in the midst he of them. He set them in the midst of them. He took a child and set them in the midst of them. Can you read it? And when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them. Listen, he took the child in the, and, and set him in the midst of them. And, and when he had taken him in his arms, look at what Jesus said unto him. Whosoever shall receive one of such children. Oh, oh, listen now. Oh, listen now. Whosoever do what? Shall receive one of such children. In Whosoever name, shall receive one of such children in my name, in my name, receiveth me. Receiveth me. Listen. And whosoever shall receive me, but whosoever shall receive me, shall receive not me. Okay. I'm sorry. Whosoever okay. shall receiveth me. Okay. So listen. And whosoever shall receive me, receiveth me not. Receiveth me not. I'm sorry, Pastor Robert. Let me start over. Okay, go ahead. Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name. In my name now. Listen. Listen. Receive me. Why would Jesus use a scenario of a child if it wasn't important? Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. If you don't think what we're doing here with these children Amen. are important, you didn't just understand what happened. That's right. Let's focus. Amen. Let's pay attention. Amen. Let's focus. Okay? Listen to what I'm saying. If the child didn't matter, why would Jesus use him? That's right. And he said that. As an Amen. example. Amen. Why would he set the child in the midst of them? Put his arms around him. What? If it wasn't important. If Jesus wasn't making a point. If he did not want us to understand something, why would he do that? That's right. He did it for a reason. Mm -hmm. He did it for a reason. Keep reading. And whosoever shall receive me, receive not me, but him that sent me. Okay, listen. He that receiveth me, receiveth not me, but, but who you're really receiving is the one that sent me. Amen. Ultimately, what he's saying is you receive receiving God. That's right. When you receive me, you're receiving God. Keep reading. And John answered him saying, Master, we saw one casting out devil. Okay, listen him. now. Now listen now. Because we're going to get back to this thought with the child. But this is another thought. I want us to understand. Okay. okay, pastor, why do you do things the way you do sometimes? I, I'm going to help you understand. Listen, John answered him saying, Master. We saw one casting out devils in thy name. We saw one casting out devils, not in some other name, not in a false name, but we saw one casting out devils in your name. Uh -huh. Listen to what John is saying to Jesus. And we saw one casting out devils in your name. Hold on. Well, saints, we are in St. John. I mean, we're in St. Uh, Mark, the ninth chapter. Amen. Just to make sure everybody's there. St. Mark, the Amen. St. Mark, the ninth chapter. St. Mark, the ninth chapter, in verse number 38. Amen. All right. St. Mark, the ninth chapter, verse number 38. Keep reading, sister. And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name. Keep reading. And he followed not us. But listen. Huh. Listen now. Huh. But he wasn't following us. He wasn't a part of our group. Mm -hmm. He's not in this local congregation. All right. And what did Jesus say? Keep reading. And we have forbid him. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Because he wasn't doing what we was doing. We told him, move on. Right. Because he followed not us. Because he followed not us. <clears throat> but listen, but he casting out devils right. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right. Wait a minute, but he ain't here. Right. He's not here with us. That's right. Listen to what John is saying. So you got to understand the way God sees things, that's the way we got to see it. Amen. That's it. See, we think because someone is not doing what I'm doing right here in my local congregation, they don't matter. That's Amen. not true. Amen. Not true. That is absolutely 100% not true. True. Because someone isn't here doesn't mean they're not saved. That's right. It doesn't mean that. 
We want them to get here. Amen. But it doesn't mean they're not saved. That's right. Amen. It doesn't mean they're not doing the will of God. Right. Because they don't see things the way we see it. Right. It doesn't mean that. Yeah. What is that? Is that pastor, is that person saved or are they committing sin? That's the question. If you're not committing sin and you repented for your sins and you're living right, you're saved. Amen. Right. That's Bible. Amen. That's it. Amen. God wants them to get to that local church of God congregation. Amen. Until they have that understanding, they're saved and living for God That's all in them. That's it. John said, we forbid. Yeah. Now he's asking Jesus this after the fact. Yeah. Not before. Mm -hmm. Lord, what should we do? <laughs> That's not what happened. They rebuked me. Then told Jesus what they did. Right. You sound familiar? Mm. <laughs> Don't get counsel after the fact. Don't get counsel after the fact. Pastor, this is what I did. Okay, let's get an understanding. This is not counsel. That's You're right. telling me what you did. That's right. There's a difference. And you asking me what you should do, then you telling me what you did and do I agree with? Mm. There's a difference now. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Well, Pastor, you I didn't say anything. You told me what you did. I didn't say the outcome. Based on what you did, that wasn't God. Listen now. <coughs> but Jesus said, Listen, but Jesus said, Forbid him not. Listen. Listen at what Jesus said now. The disciples. Rejected him. Uh -huh. Because he wasn't with them. Right. Because they didn't understand. Listen, long as you're doing the will of God, it doesn't matter where you at. Right. Now, we're gonna go further in that explanation. Right. Now I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that. All right. Okay. We have to be careful about how we deal with people. Because they could be saved and fighting all they know. And because they're not doing exactly what I'm doing, we reject them. That's wrong. That's it. That's wrong. And this is what Jesus is telling them. Right? Listen to what he says. He says what? Read it. What but did he Jesus say? said, forbid him not. Listen. Jesus said, forbid him not. For there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name. That can lightly speak evil of me. Listen to what Jesus is saying. If he's doing a miracle, he's not speaking lightly of me. He's, he's fulfilling the will of God. Amen. He's fulfilling the will of God. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Keep reading. For he that is not against us. Listen, he that's not against us is on our part. Listen, he that's not against us is for us. Is for us. Mm -hmm. See, we as people, we have been taught to function a certain way. And when we come to salvation, we have to learn different. Amen. We have to learn all Amen. over again how to function God's That's way. That's it. Amen. Why am I saying that? Because we've been taught to divide one another. Yeah. We've been taught that. Mm -hmm. Politically, socially, economically, religiously, financially, in every way you can think of, we've been taught as people to separate. Mm -hmm. That's what we've been taught. God does just the opposite. The Father, Son, and the Spirit draws us together to Amen. make us one. Amen. That's it. Make us one. That's it. In the body of Christ. One. In the body of Christ. <laughs> Sometimes the way a person has to do things in one country is different the way they have to do it in another country. Because they do separate countries. They all serving God. I'm talking about the truth now. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? The way women are under a heavy scrutiny in foreign countries when it comes to serving God. I mean, I don't know if you're keeping up with foreign events, but Afghanistan, Kuwait, and all these other different Middle Eastern countries, they are extremely cruel to women. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
They are extremely cruel to young ladies. They don't want you to read. They don't want you to write. They don't want you to be able to do nothing other than say, yes, Lord, to your husband. Yeah. Listen to me. Yes. That's not God. That's it. Not what they're doing. That's not God. We have to understand that. But God is still requiring them to serve him according to what they know. That's it. Make that plan. Amen. It's not going to be like you. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not going to be like you here in America where you have a free will. Yeah. It's not going to be the same. Right. And if you don't understand the way Christ works, you look at them and say, they're not saying what's wrong with them. What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't understand. Amen. Right? They are under extreme pressure to tell their young daughters, don't go to school. Mm. You just think about that now. You have to tell your young daughter, don't learn how to read. Don't, don't fight the system. Don't go to school. And then marry her off to someone she doesn't even know before she gets 12. My Lord. My Lord. Before she's 12. My Lord. To a man 50. Mm. And we look at them like, what's wrong with them? When well, we really have the problem. Amen. Because we don't understand. It doesn't work that way. I'm talking about in God's eyesight now. Amen. It doesn't work that way. That's not the life and salvation that God created for people. But they are under some strong persecutions. They're under strong pressure to, to stay with what's Traditionally, there they. you go. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And we have women groups and, and, and other different social groups, and mm -hmm. you know we have some, uh, uh, you know, uh, very wealthy people have have invested in some of those countries mm -hmm. to build a, 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 a schools for 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 young girls. Yeah, man. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They have no rights at all. Thank you, Lord. Mm. None. But God still want them to be saved. Yeah. But there's a way. That's there's it. A way. There's a way. You got to have the mind and the heart to listen to God to show them the way. Mm -hmm. Is their salvation any different than ours? No. No. But 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 are there some ways there are different than here? Yes. Yes. Amen. So sometimes how we can operate in one place, we can't go to another place and operate that That's same way. Right. right. Amen. It's a difference. That's right. It's a difference. I remember one of our sisters in Long Beach, California, she passed on. She going to be with the Lord. But she said she remember when she was a little girl. She was, she, uh, she's uh, Belizean. She was a little girl. She said, we... It was all Catholicism and beliefs. She was all Catholic church. You cannot openly talk about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They had to go under her grandma, her, her grandmother's porch to serve God. They, they couldn't do it openly in the city. Wow. So all of them came together like 12 o'clock at night. All they had was a little lamp. And they had this preacher, uh, this, this uh, 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 evangelist. And he would come through the time every, every week or so often and that's when they had service mm -hmm. that was the best they could do yes that was all they could do what God said was now mm -hmm. long as that's all you can do that's what I want you to do mm -hmm. now that's all you can do that's what I want you to do and those things are hard for us to understand because we don't have the mind of Christ. Right. Right. That's why it's hard for us to understand, Lord, how could they be saved just like me? Because they don't have the opportunity you have. That's right? it. My right. Lord, that's it. It's not the same thing. Amen. 
You think it's easy what they're doing? Switch places. Well, go it. buy a ticket Come and on. go to Afghanistan. You'll find out. That's it. Yeah. Not easy. Not You'll easy. find out. Somebody put an AK-47 right up to your head now. Say Christ if you want to. Mm -hmm. Say it. My Lord. We're not under that type, kind of pressure. Right. We have other fights. But yes. That's real. Yes, sir. They, they, they are up under extreme situations to, to marry someone to keep the peace. Mm. Marry someone to bring families together to have economic growth. Amen. So imagine that. You got to go in there, tell your daughter, you're going with this man. Who is that? That's your husband. Mm. Mm. His, his face was only to mine. Thank you, I, that's not a conversation I would want to have with my daughter. That's, right. that's not something I would want to do. My Lord. Some forced to do it. Mm -hmm. And until God helped them, and until God showed them the way, and give them the courage and the grace and the strength to fight against that, it's not going to change. Right. It's hard. That, that's, that's very difficult. It's very difficult to deal with. Amen. And some people in that position, they're doing all they can. That's it. They're doing the very best they can in their situation. And if we're not careful, we reject them. Right. Because you're not doing what I'm doing here in America. Okay, say that again. I'm going to reject them because they're not doing what we're doing here in America. In a foreign country. Thousands of miles away. Under extreme pressure, and I reject them because they're not doing okay. what I do. Mean. That's wrong. We don't do that. Yeah. Oftentimes, when you hear me pray, I say, "Pray, Lord, pray." I pray for the saints in Afghanistan. I pray for the saints in in, in Germany. Yes. I pray for the saints in Russia because they are there. Yes. But they're under, under extreme pressure, and they can't always do the things that we do because of, of what their laws are. That's it. You're telling the truth. Amen. It's a difference. Are they saved? Sure they are. But they don't have the opportunities that we have. And we have to understand. We have to have a, have a prayerful mind and heart. Lord, change the situation. Help them. To make the stand the right way. Amen. And some things are changing. God is helping them. Some of it is changing. Mm hmm Unfortunately, a lot of it is staying the same because some people don't want it to change. They want women to stay a commodity. Mm. Not to be one with a husband and wife the way God intended. They want their wives and children to be a commodity. If I don't benefit from you, you mean nothing to me. Wow. That's wrong. Amen. He does not against us, it's for us, mm -hmm. right? That's why we have to be careful about how we treat one another. Right? We have to be careful about that. If you're not for me, you're against me. If you're for me, you're not against me. Let's work it out. Amen. Let's work it out. If, if you're not against me and you're for me, let's work it out. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Amen. We got Church of God congregations here in America. They're not working it out. My Lord. We got some pastors. They, they're not working it out. My Lord. Some saints not working it out. How, how many times do I say, let's sit down and talk about it? Let's talk about it. Sit down and talk about it. Amen. Let's find out what's happening and what went wrong. You know, we was in sweet communion, fellowship. What happened? My Lord. What went wrong? Come on, Pastor Robert. Let's talk about it. Let's get an understanding, right? Yeah. The Bible yeah. says that a wise man will hear and increase learning. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's it. 
A wise man will hear and increase learning. That's it. Amen. You know, one of our, our, our favorite scriptures I go over is Proverbs uh, 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom with all thy getting. Get an understanding. You've got to get an understanding on what's going on. So you can gain the wisdom and the knowledge that you need from the situation. That's it. So you can correct it and so you don't have to get there again. Yeah. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen. For he that is not against us is but read verse 39. I'm, I'm sorry, we read that. Verse 40. Uh, verse 40, I'm sorry. Verse 40. For he that is not against us <laughs> is on our part. Is on our part. Amen. He's on our part. Amen. Oh, we got to understand that. So he's on our part. He's not against us. He's for us. Mm -hmm. Work with him. Yep. Amen. Uh, Sister Lisa, go, go ahead and read uh, 41. For time's sake. Um, Verse 42. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones. Listen. Listen now. That whosoever, believe in me. Listen. Whosoever shall do what? Offend. You causing an offense. You causing a transgression against one of these little ones. Keep reading. Who believe in me. Listen. Who believe in me. It is better for him. This is better now. This is better. It's better that this happened to you than you keep doing what you're doing. It is better for him that a millstone was hung better on his for neck. him that a millstone was what? Hung around about his neck. Keep reading. And he was cast into the sea. It's better for me to, to it's better for me to My put a Lord. brick around your neck and drop you in the middle of the ocean My than Lord. for you to cause an offense against one of these little ones. Come on now. My Lord, be careful. Did, did, you, did, you, did you read what Jesus just said? That's it. If you, if you think these little kids coming here serving God, it ain't nothing. You didn't. You better read that scripture again. You better read it. It's better for you. If I hung a millstone around your neck and dropped That's you in the middle of the ocean and let you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. For you to cause an offense to one of them. Yes, sir. This is no game we're playing. For you to cause an offense to keep one of these kids or one of these little ones from serving God. Just go drown yourself in the middle of the ocean. It's better for you. My Lord. I mean, you're going to pay for that. But it's better for you to do that than stop one of them from serving God. Come on. You're supposed to be paying attention, right? Amen. You got to stay focused, right? Yeah. Right? Okay, you gotta stay focused, right man. Right. <laughs> stay focused. Stay focused. We got some treats for you at church. You gotta get this treat. Now do that again. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's better. Don't call it an offense. It's one of these little ones. They're say, say, I'm saved and I want to live for God and I treat them like they're nothing. God say, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you for that. If you treat them like they're not saved, if you hinder them from coming to church and being saved, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I don't want to be, the Bible said, it's a fearful thing to, to, to fall into the hands of an angry God. I don't want to fall into the hands of God. He angry with me. That's not what I want. Amen. It's serious. Man. It's a very serious thing. And we want to acknowledge what God is doing. Amen. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Let's turn over to uh, 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter. 2 Chronicles mm -hmm. 20.
Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter. Verse 8. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. There are people that are in extreme, extremely, extremely difficult situations. And serving God all they know. And we want to be a blessing to them. Amen. We don't want to add to what they're going through. That's right. We want to be a part of the solution. That's yeah. it. Not part of the problem. Amen. Amen. That's what we want to be. We want to be part of the solution, not, not part of the problem. Amen. Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter, and uh, we're going to start reading that verse number one. And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them... Others besides the um, Ammonites the came Ammonites. against Jehoshaphat. Came against Jehoshaphat to battle. To battle. All right. Now keep reading. Now. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, "There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea, on this side of Sierra, Sir, uh, Sir, uh, uh, Syria. Syria, Syria, and behold, they." Be in Hazan Tamar. Hazan Tamar, which is in Gedi. That's right, in Gedi. In Gedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast through all out Judea. Okay, throughout all Judah. Judah, I'm sorry. Judah. Keep, keep reading now. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord, even out of even of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Okay, now, so, so, let's look at what's going on here. Nations, to make a long story, are coming against the children of Israel. That's what's happening here. There's a battle that's beginning to start. The nations on the other side are coming against God's people now. And God's people fear, and Jehoshaphat feared, and they all gathered, to, gathered themselves together. They called the fast and to seek help of the Lord. Why? You want to tell us. Keep reading. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. Keep reading. And said, O Lord God of our fathers, art thou not the God of heaven? And rulers not thee over all the kingdoms of the of the heathen. Amen. Keep reading. And in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none of so that none is able mm -hmm. to withstand thee? Now look at what Jehoshaphat is saying. Lord, aren't you aren't you God of all the nations? Look at what's going on here. The Lord, can anybody withstand thee? Keep reading. Art Where's thou it? not? The God, art thou not, I'm sorry, art I'm sorry. not thou, Seven. I'm sorry. Art seven. not thou, our God, who didst drive out the inhabitants, the, the, inhabitants the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel, and giveth it to the sea. And gaveth it to, the, to thy sea. I'm sorry. That's okay. And gaveth it to the sea. To the sea. Of Abraham, thy friend forever. Keep reading. And thou dwelt therein, and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, If, when evil come upon us as a sword, judgment, and pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house, and in thy presence for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. Okay, listen to what he's saying. Did a lot of reading to get to a point. Amen. Right? What's this house for? Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. And troubles and things happen. What do we do? We go before the Lord. In this house. In this house. I'm talking about in the house of the Lord. Amen. Look at what Jehoshaphat is saying. 
Lord, you said. You said. You said what you was saying. You said, Lord, that if, if we come and stand before you in this house, when things happen and troubles come our way and all these other different things, and we call upon your name and we seek your face, you'll do what? You'll help us. You'll help us. Amen. Not in every house, Amen. not in every place, in this one. Mm -hmm. What house am I talking about? The church of God. God right. That's the house I'm talking about. The church. Not a church, the church. The church. The church. This is what we do. When things happen, we don't take matters into our own hands. We come to the house of God and we pray about it. We seek God's face yes, and help. Thank to you, deliver Lord. us from whatever we're Amen. facing. Amen. This house. Amen. Look at what Jehoshaphat is saying, right? Keep reading. And thou and they dwelt therein and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name. Saying What verse you at? Verse 9 now. Okay. If when evil come up oh, I read that already. You read that already. I'm sorry. Verse 10. And now behold the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Siri. Mount Seir. Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade. When they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Now what happened here? When the children of Israel came out of Egypt, what is Jehoshaphat rehearsing? They, they turned. turned. All the nations that's coming against us right now, we could have destroyed them, but you didn't allow us to. Listen at this now. The same ones God showed mercy on is fighting against Israel now. Mm -hmm. Listen at this now. The same ones God said, leave them alone. Don't mess with them. Now, turning and fighting against Israel. Mm -hmm. Who could have destroyed them when they came out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something now? How soon do we forget? Right soon. Are we paying attention? Man. Stay focused. Stay focused, right? Okay. Now listen at this now. Verse 11. Verse 11. Behold, I say. Listen. Behold, I say. How they reward us. How they reward us. To come to cast us out of thy possession. To come to cast us out of thy possession. Which thou. Us. Which thou what? Which thou has given which, us to inherit. Which thou what? Has given us to inherit. Listen, listen to what's happening here. It was given. Listen to what's happening now. Jehoshaphat say, We show mercy on them, and look what they in return do to us. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it is sometimes. God bless you to help people and they are turn and first chance they get. Like, did not remember when I helped you? That's right. Then when you had nothing. That's right. Do you remember? <laughs> that's it. Huh? And Lord, look how they repay us. Right. Look how they repay us. We show mercy. Could have invaded them and kicked them out of their land, but you told us not to. Look how they repay us. My Lord. Huh? Can you read? Verse 12. Oh, our God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh our, our God. God. Listen at this now. Would thou not judge them? Listen. Oh, our God, would they not? Will you not judge them? For you going to forget about what they're doing? Uh-uh. For we have no might Listen. against this great company. We don't have any might to fight against them. We don't have the resources. We don't have this. We don't have that. Keep reading. Neither know we what to do. Keep reading. But our eyes Listen, are our upon eyes thee. Listen, our eyes are upon who? Thee. God. Amen. We get in situations and we say, Lord, I don't know what to do. Mm. Lord, the situation is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Lord, I'm faced with this and I'm faced. Lord, our eyes open to you. Lord, what do we do? Yeah. 
What do we do in situations like this? Lord, we look into these. What, what's going on? What's happening? What do we do? We don't take matters into our own hands. We ask God, Lord, what do I do? I do I'm Lord. faced with this situation right here. What do I do? Amen. Keep reading. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. Listen now. <coughs> this is not what the scripture said. <coughs> Who stood before Judah? The little ones, the wives, and the children. All of them. Mm -hmm. Little ones, wives, children, mm -hmm. all stood where? Before the Lord. Before the Lord. We're teaching our children. We're teaching our, our wives. We're teaching our loved ones. We're teaching the little ones how to stand before God. Amen. Let me tell you something. If I don't teach how to stand before God now, what you gonna do when something happens? Come yeah. on, that's it. It's too late. It's too late. Yeah. Listen, what you do is what you do when something happens. That's it. Did that make sense? Yeah. Listen to me. What you do, that's what you're gonna do when something happens. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you've been doing, that's what you're going to do. Because it's going to be too late to do anything else. Amen. So you stand now. When something happens, guess what you're going to do? Stand. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Sister Monica, keep reading. Then upon Jehaziel, Je 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 the son of Zechariah, the son of ben Benaniah, Benaniah the son of Jael, Jael, the son of Mataniah, Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph. Asaph, came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Listen now, where did the spirit of God come? Where? In the midst of the congregation. In the midst of the congregation. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. This, this is what we need. Yeah. We need the Spirit of God to bless someone in the midst of the congregation to say, this is what we're going to do. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we need. We need God to move up on the congregation and fill somebody with the Holy Spirit to say, this is what the Lord, thus says the Lord. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. This is what's going to happen. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can you read? And he said, hearken ye, verse 15. And he said, hearken ye, all Judah, Can you read? the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Listen now, hearken unto me. I'm sorry, hearken. And he said, hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. And thou king of Jehoshaphat. Listen, thou king of Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord unto you. Listen, thus says the Lord unto you. Be not afraid nor dismayed. Be not afraid nor dismayed of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours. For the it's battle amen. is not yours. Amen. But God. That's you it. And God. Amen. The battle is not yours, Lord. How am I going to do this? Listen. We're faced with monumental situations. And God said the battle is not yours. It's God. The battle is not yours. Mm -hmm. Moses told the children of Israel, he said, stand still. See the salvation of the Lord. Man. For the battle's not yours, it's mine, says That's the it. Lord. Amen. They go to Red Sea. Woo! Open up. Amen. Open up. Amen. 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 We are faced with situations just like this. And Amen. God says, listen, what you want to do, I don't want you to do that. I, I know in your natural mind, you think that's what to do. I don't want you to do that. Right. The battle is mine. I'm going to fight it for you. Amen. Do what I tell you. Amen. I've already fixed it. 
That's it. it. That's 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 it. I need you to listen to me. Thank do you, what I'm telling Amen. you to do. It's done. Amen. 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 Thank God. That's what we need. We need saints filled with the Holy Spirit to say, Amen, thus says the Lord. Amen. Amen. And the battle is not yours, but in mine, says the Lord. That's it. Stand it. still and see the salvation. Of, see what God can do. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. Why? Because me or myself, I can't do nothing. Yeah. It supersedes me. Mm. Yeah. It, it's, it's too big for me. I can't fix it. I need God to fix it. That's Amen. It. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? That's We're it. faced with situations like that. Amen. We're faced economically, spiritually, Amen. Uh, medically. We're, we're faced with situations yes. and we need God to fix it. We need God to fix it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Listen with the with, with the Spirit of God it, it, using this thing here. He said the battle. God said it's mine. He said, Amen. This war, Amen, that you're in, they're, they're not trying to destroy you. They're trying to destroy me. And I'm gonna get them. That's it. See, 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 one thing we, we fail to realize is, is when people fight against us, it's, it's, we're just what they physically see. It's, it. it's not us they hate. Tell it. Right. Tell it. Amen. But we're not the ones that they have a problem with in this thought of what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Their problem is God. Right. Mm -hmm. We're just the best. Their problem is God. You know, in, in the world, they have this term. They say, you know, don't kill the messenger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just telling you. Mm -hmm. They say, don't kill the messenger. See, they want us out the way because we're the messengers. We're telling them what God said, but their problem is God. Right. And God said, them that hate me, I hate them. Huh? Those that hate God say, God, God say, okay, you hate me? Okay. All right. You hate me? You want to fight? Okay. Because I haven't lost the battle yet. Amen. God has, is the only one that has a, 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 a perfect, infinite record. Never lost a battle. Hallelujah. And That's he it. never will. Amen. Because he's God. Amen. Amen. God said the battle is not yours. Well, I, I want you to take a step back. Just get out the way. Right. And let me be God. Just get, get out, out the way the and way. let me fix it. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Anytime God starts fixing it, we go Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you. God said, just step back and let me be God. I'm going to fix it. Right. And we Amen. see God fixing it and we go, Amen. no, Lord, not, not like that. That's it. Not like this. God said, that's the only way it can be fixed. It can't be fixed in here. This is it right here. Man. I'm fixing it. Do you want me to fix it? I want you to obey me. Do what I'm telling you to do. And I want you to leave it alone. Amen. That's it. Leave it alone. Don't mess with it. Leave it alone. Mm. Amen. And that's something. And that's a hard lesson to learn. Because sometimes we see what God doing and we want to go, no, Lord, not, not like that. I don't want that. <laughs> not like that. Not like that, Lord. It doesn't work that way. That's right. See, when it gets to like that, it's because God has done everything else he possibly could and they won't listen. Right. Amen. So guess what? There it is. That's it right there. It's, I got to fix it like that. Mm. It hurts. It, it, yeah, it hurts. It, it, we love people. You know, we don't want to see them destroyed. We don't want to see them in bad situations, but they're fighting against God. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that natural human part of us, we want to go to their rescue. Now guess who else is getting it? My Lord. Get out! Okay, I told you. <laughs> get out the way. You know, you ever whipping one child and the other one get, get in the way. You better get out the way before you get it. That's it. Yeah, belt swinging. <laughs> okay, Bobby. Amen. You're on your own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
pit. Yes, sir. You can't do that. That's that human nature. The aspect of that human part of us, we think we can help the situation, but we can't. Yes. You can't help it like that. How do you help it? Obeying God. That's Obey God. how you help it. Amen. Obey God. If you want to help that person, do what God is telling you to do. So when you kneel in prayer, God will hear you. Yes, yes, yes. That's how you help it. Not getting in the way of their whipping. You can't help them like that. Because when God decides to whip somebody, how are you going to stop them? Huh? What, what are you going to do? Do you want to trade places with them? That's not going to help them. You just got an extra whipping, but it didn't help them. Mm -hmm. You can't take it for them. They got to get their own whip. I told you don't do that. Right. God is not unfaithful. My son acting up and not doing right, and I'm going to whip my daughter. That's not fair. Mm -mm. Right. Didn't I tell you? The, what? That doesn't make sense. I'm going to get the one that's doing what they're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. Reward the one that's listening, and we go jumping in the way. Get yourself in trouble like that. Your blessings start to disappear. Now, Lord, what's happening here? You took on that. I took it. You shouldn't have been doing that. I told you to get out the way. Right. Sometimes when God is telling you to leave a situation alone, he's telling you to do that for a reason. I love people. I love every single body. But when you get in trouble with God, I'm going to step out the way. That's on you. I'll be praying for you, but I'm not getting in the way. Because guess what? That means I'm going to get some. Uh -uh. I'm living right so that don't happen. Right. I'm obeying God so that doesn't happen. That's it. That's it. Amen. And we think we can go run into people rescue. You can't. When you see what God's doing, say, thank you, Lord. Be merciful. Show yes, mercy, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. That's what you do. Lord, I'm praying that you show mercy in the situation. That the person get their help. That they get what they need so they can straighten up. They can think right. They can live right. Sometimes that's that's, that's what you got to do, God? Okay. Lord, help me to accept it. Help me to accept your will in this situation. Amen? Amen. Amen. He said, the battle, amen, he said, be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. Don't look at what you're looking at. No, I'm in charge. I'm in charge of this situation. I know the way it's going. Just let me do what I got to do. Amen. Let me do it. Let me take care of it. Amen. You know, sometimes God wants to deal with situations, but sometimes we're not ready. We're not ready. So God says, okay, I'm going to make you ready so I can deal with this. I'm going to make you ready so I can deal with this. Now, I know you're ready. You know what I'm doing. I'm telling you what I'm doing now. You got to move out the way so I can help this person. So, yeah. See, and that's the way you got to see it. When God is getting, he's helping their soul. And that's what we pray for. And that's what we want. Amen. Lord, do what you got to do to save a person's soul. Because right. guess what? I would rather for them to get whipped and, and do everything God needs to do to see them lost in hell. Right. I would rather for that to happen. That's, yeah. that's what it's going to take to save them. Yeah. Amen. That's it. Rather than to see him lost. Amen. 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 So, pick which one you want. You want to see him lost forever? Or this, this great affliction I'm going to put on him? A lot of times when people are going through things, I've learned, I've learned to ask people, what's God telling you? People have told me, Brother Robert, I know this God. There you go. Mm. I'm not going no further. I'll be praying for you. That's it. See, because you know it's God for a reason. You knew. God told you don't do that and you did it anyway. Yeah. That's why you're going through what you're going through. And then I go in there and jump. <coughs> now I'm going through it. Look, I thought you delivered me. I did. You jumped into that. You right. got involved in something you shouldn't have been. Just ask people. Do you, you 
know why God is doing this? This you'll be amazing at some of the answers they give you. They know a whole lot more than what you think they know. They know. Just like Jonah. Just like Jonah. Just like Jonah. He knew. They woke him up. Hey, sleeper. Do you know this ship is about to sink? Hey, sleeper. Get up. Call on your God. Jonah didn't have to call on God. He already knew. It's me. <laughs> call on your God. That cast lot. You, you running from God. It's me. Jonah said, it's me. Cast me over. Boy, we, we don't want. Cast him overboard. Seemed like it was a cruel thing to do. If you just, in your natural mind, you're on this big old ship. I mean, the waves is 100 foot wave. I'm not going to cast nobody overboard. 100 foot waves? So did you cast him overboard? Obedience is the key. Amen. I thought they, I thought they were gonna die. No, they was the reason you were gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Cast them overboard. You find out everything just come. That, that this guy, you know what? I'm gonna let God handle it. All of a sudden, your bills is paid. Amen. Thank God. Amen. <laughs> your kid doing good in school. Amen. This, this is all right. Amen. You got involved in something you shouldn't. Have. You see what I'm saying? The battle is God. Yeah. He knows exactly what to do. All we got to do is, okay, God, take a step back. <coughs> John said, cast me overboard. I'm fighting running from God. But they're going to die. God got to. He got something right there to get. <laughs> Just like Jonah. He threw him over, boy, got, he had a great fish right there waiting on him. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. These wind, huh? Ship toss, and it, it's, the, the, the fish is right there waiting. Mm -hmm. Obeying God. He's not going to say, he's not going to, there you go, fish waiting on God. Stay right here next to the ship right here. <laughs> as soon as they cast Jonah over, don't chew him up. <laughs> Don't kill them. Just swallow them up and just maintain them right there. <laughs> do you, huh? Do, do, this is what God telling them. Naturally, if you fall over and you fall over into shark water, alligator water, you're going to be consumed. I mean, that's just, you know, nature. They're not being cruel. They're, they're wild animals. Just like, just like Daniel and the lions did. This, by nature, Daniel should have been killed. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? By nature. What I mean, the natural aspect of that situation, those lines should have said, how? Made them <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But God told the lion, don't mess with him. Mm -hmm. He's my servant. Right. Do not eat him. <laughs> Just like he told the fish, don't eat him. All them teeth. How is it possible you could get swallowed up God. by a whale Come on, with man. hundreds of teeth, not get bitten? You don't bleed out. None of your limbs missing. Nothing is impossible unless it is God. It is God. Just think about that now. He didn't come out with, with, with whale bites. He was missing limbs. He was missing an arm. He scraped up against them. He didn't come out with, with any diseases. Mm -hmm. Just like they consumed them, they spit them out even better. That's it. Amen. And God said, I got situations just for you. Just for you. Just for you. Just for you. Lord, I'm going to die. You're not going to die. I'm mm -hmm. going to see to. I've already commanded for you to live. But you're going to go through this because you disobeyed me. You mm -hmm. didn't do what I told you to do. So now you got to go through this. Huh? Amen. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. My God. Huh? 
in the fiery furnace. No possible way you could you could be tossed into a furnace and not and just not be consumed. Seven times hot. It's not possible. Amen. Nature, naturally, it's not possible except when it's God. Amen. Amen. Except when it's God. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Amen. The battle is not yours. God said, it's mine. That's it. Thank you. Let Jesus. me fight it. Amen. Thank you. Keep reading. Verse 16. <clears throat> Tomorrow go you down against them. Behold, they come up by the cleft of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerul. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Listen, listen, to, what, listen to what listen to what the Spirit of God is using. This saint to say. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, I, I'm going to have to. God said, listen, I, do you know I, I've already taken care of it? Right. Yeah. I've already taken care of Thank it, you, but you just don't believe it. You Thank just don't you, trust Lord. me. Right. I've already taken care of it. It's already done. Just believe me. Just trust me. It's already done. Right. Already done. Already done. Amen. You know, I like the movie, The Ten Commandments, how the Pharaoh, you know, it's, it's the Pharaoh, but I like the movie. He says, he says, he says, the, 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 the God of Moses is a poor general. Hmm. Why? Because you got the Red Sea in back and Pharaoh's army in front. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's no way out. That's right. That's the way it looks. Mm -hmm. That's why he said that he said the, 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 the God of Moses is a poor general. Because didn't he know I was coming and the Red Sea is right there? Sure he did. <laughs> he sure did. Sure he knew. But he already had a plan. Amen. Mm -hmm. Huh? They told Moses, you brought us out here to die. We might wasn't it better and we'd have stayed in Egypt. My At Lord. least we had a grave. My Lord. At least if we had somewhere to be buried, we about to die. Huh? And Moses start talking to God. God say, Moses, stretch out your rod. Amen. Stretch out your rod. Amen. 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 Don't he do it? Amen. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Then the movie said, the, the, the God of, of, of Moses, a poor general, he, he left them no retreat. Because they're not going to have to retreat. They're going to keep moving forward. Through the sea. My Lord. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Trying to figure it out. I'm not saying your situation is not impossible. I'm not saying that. I'm saying we serve the God of impossible. Amen. Amen. That's what he does. He takes impossible situations. Turn them around. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to do this. God said, I do. Mm. I know exactly how it's going to be done. I, I paid this. I, I made this battle just for you. Mm -hmm. Just for you. I handpicked you just for this. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. The Bible says over there in Isaiah 48 and 10, one of your Sister Monica's favorite scriptures, right? Mm -hmm. I've chosen thee. I've chosen thee. Chosen thee. In the furnace of prosperity. No. Afflictions. Blessings. No. What? Affliction. Afflictions. I chose you there. God said, I put you there for a reason. Amen. Glory to God. Thank huh? you. But he also said, you, you, you gonna come forth as what? Pure, Pure gold. Huh? Amen. See, that furnace is gonna do something. That, that affliction I'm putting you to, it's going to do so. It's going to change your attitude. It's going to change your perspective. It's going to change that attitude about people going to do what I say do, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Amen. Yeah. It, you start going through things and afflictions, and it, it changes you. It makes you a different person. Amen. What it, it, it makes you, it takes you from this, it makes you more like God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. And we're praying, Lord, don't let them go through this. I'm praying just the opposite. Let your will be done, Lord. Lord, let your will be Amen. done. Lord, take them through it, Lord God. Lord, if it's going to make them more like you, Lord, take Amen. them through it. Lord, yes. help, help them to fight through it so they can be more yes. like you. Yes, yes. yes. Lord. 
Amen. What parent tells their child, no, no don't, don't take that class. That's, that's, hard. that's a hard class. Don't take that class. Right. Yeah, you need that to get to college. Don't take that. Hmm. Yeah, you need that to get college. No, don't take that. Stay with two plus two. <laughs> Who does that? No, you encourage them. Yeah, I know it's hard, but... <clears throat> That's a good class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to study, but you can do it. Yeah. You don't tell them not to do it. Right. Stay away from anything that's hard. Okay. Hmm. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. This Is it going to cause you to work harder? Mm. <laughs> Are you going to have to study? That's not what we do. We encourage them to do just the opposite. Okay, buckle down. Get out the video game. It's work now. Yeah. Video game. It's work now. <laughs> right? Get out the cell phone. Yeah. Remember, you, you want to go to this college, don't you? Hey, you, you gotta, this is what you got to do. It's worth it, right? That's what we teach our kids. It's worth it. Right. right. We don't tell them, stay away from that. Anything that's hard, don't do that. Right. <laughs> because you already know that's not going to help them. Yeah, that's the easy way out, but guess what? When it's time to apply for college and all those kids took the hard classes, they're going to be locked out and they're going to be locked in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mom, I hate that teacher. That teacher is so hard. That's it. Take them again. Hmm. I'm not taking their classes no more. Why not? They require too much. Take them again. <laughs> they got any more classes you can take? <laughs> Why? Because you know they, they're getting the best out of them. Mm -hmm. They're requiring yeah. something. They're not just passing them through. I remember I was in college and I remember I did this assignment. I was criminal. Uh, I was um, taking this uh, a criminology class and I just took the easy way out because I knew what the answers were. And I just, I, did, I wrote down, put everything down just like the assignment was. Turned it in. My instructor, her name was uh, Dr. Lyles. And I remember when I first uh, started in my criminal justice major, I used to hate her. Uh -huh. I mean, I hated that lady with a passion. Because you couldn't even get a word in. She, I'd be like, um, Dr. Lyles, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that, Mr. Duvenary. Do it. I'd be like, tell grown man. I'd be like, tears in my eyes. I'm like, that. I'm like that. this lady. Show no mercy. <laughs> right? She gave me the, we had this book about this thing. Read the book, do the paper. Read the book, did my paper, turned it in. I mean, in a matter of five minutes. Put her glasses, because she wore glasses, had her put her glasses on. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, it's... You know, I'm out of here, right? right? About five minutes, she said, what is this? Right. Like, what, what do you mean? It's the assignment. She says, uh, Mr. Duvenary, do this again. Oh. I, mean, I mean, it was several, I can't remember how many pages. I mean, it was, she literally like read one paragraph. I was like, I know she did. <laughs> <laughs> one paragraph and get... I don't want this. Do this again. But in my heart, I knew you didn't put very much into that. Yeah. I mean, I knew in my I knew what I did. I just felt she should have accepted it. Right. It was it completed. That was the assignment. But what she was letting me know is I know you got a whole lot more in you than that right there. Right. Did she say I didn't complete the assignment? She never said that. What she said is. Do it again, because you got better in you. Yeah. That I couldn't fight against. Hated that she made me do that, because she messed up my college weekend. Right. <laughs> and I had other things I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Wanted to go party and do other stuff, and instead, I'm at home doing an assignment again that I should have did right the first time. <clears throat> We're almost done here. Mm -hmm. I had another professor, but I end up loving Dr. Law. She's a really excellent, really excellent professor. I mean, 
She had her doctor's degree. She was a doc. She was an excellent professor. I loved her classes and I took them when I can. And uh, I had another doctor, Dr. David Horn. And I don't know if you watch CNN. Um, I don't know. He might be retired now, but he used to be on CNN and a lot of other networks. I mean, he's really, really excellent professor. I used to love him because <clears throat> um, he was my political science professor. So you know, criminal justice was my major and, and uh, political science was my, was my, my minor. And so um, Dr. Lyles, he was uh, uh, Dr. Horn. He had the big chalkboard. Say, you know, what is democracy? Tell me what democracy is. He goes to the chalkboard. Well, it's whatever you want to do. He just write it down. But, uh, hmm. What is it? You know, he... <clears throat> anyway, make a long story short. <coughs> you know, <laughs> he would ask you a question and he would have a a 200 word explanation that you had to understand. Like, when he asked you, I want you to explain it to me. You couldn't just do it in two words. I want you to explain it to me. I want you to cover the basis. What does it mean? And I thought it was one of the hardest things in the world to do because there's no book. Like, this, like, he didn't give you a book and say, okay, this is the answer, copy it down, this is what it means. You now have to think and take your thoughts and put them on the chalkboard, which I found to be really, that was much more challenging than reading the book because it's not in the book. And I kept thinking to myself, man, I, like, I don't know how I'm going to pass this class. I don't know how I'm gonna pass this class. Because I used to like, like, quick, like, you know, I thought I was a smart guy. I give you the answer, and you know what I mean? It may not be all, but that's it, and we can move on. But he wasn't like that. He was another professor that he wasn't like that. Yeah. He was just the opposite. I want you to explain it to me. And I got to the point where <laughs> I learned. <laughs> You know, I'm going to have to explain it. I'm going to have to explain to him exactly what I'm talking about in an acceptable way. And I learned to do it. Mm -hmm. Took me a while, but I learned it. Mm -hmm. And I actually, and the saints can tell you, I use it to today. How many times do I ask the saints, okay, now what does that mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> explain it to me. Do I not, Monica? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Explain it to me. You see what I'm saying? Because I know once you know it, it now becomes a part of you. Yeah. You don't need a book. I'm not saying don't use one. That's right. But if you don't have the book in front of you, you can use it. Mm -hmm. You can talk about it. You can explain it no matter where you are. Yeah. In life, you can go back to it and say, this is what it means. Walking. Amen. <clears throat> We're not going to let our kids off the hook. I'm tired. Cut down your TV time. Cut down your video time. Cut down your game time. Uh, cut down your um, sports time. Cut down all your other times, but not your study time. Mm. You know, it's just like us. You know, somebody told me, um, said, I really don't have enough time, right? When you think about it, we really do. We really do have time to do what we need to do. But then what really is the problem is priority. Mm -hmm. That's really the problem. We have enough time in the day to do what we need to do, but what, what really it, it battles down to is priority. Okay, what am I prioritizing? What's important? Yeah. yeah. When we go down that priority list, we have enough time. Well, you know, that stuff was, you didn't do it, but at the bottom of the list, it wasn't important anyway. Yeah. We prioritize. We have enough time. We have it. Amen. One more scripture we're going to read. We're going to skip down for time's sake. We're going to go over to uh, the 20th verse. We're going to read verse 20, and that's it. We're going to end. Verse 20. And they rose, er, uh, 2 Chronicles 20 and 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth 
into the wilderness of Jehoiah. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Amen. If I am following something or someone that I don't truly believe can help me, they won't. If I'm following something or someone that I don't truly believe in or believe that's right, it won't help me because I don't believe it can. <clears throat> Sometimes we don't go through the process because we don't believe it. Yeah. We don't believe the process works. We don't believe it can really help us so we don't go through it. Why did you stop? Because I don't believe in it. That's why. That's why I stopped. I don't believe in it. I don't believe it's going to work. So now I have to come up with another plan. What's going to work? That's why I abandoned that process. Because I don't believe it's going to work. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it is what it say it is. Without even giving it the opportunity, without even going through the full process to see if it works, I quit halfway. Mm -hmm. I'll never find out. I will never find out if it will work because I'm not going to go through it. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for being saved today. Yeah. We said a lot. A lot needed to be said. And God knows what we need. Things that we are facing in our life We face because they are necessary for us. Um, I, I was sitting at my, my table this week, and I was kind of just going over my life, you know. And, um, and you know, I was thanking God that, um, you know, that my, my saved life, um, I don't have any regrets. Amen. Amen. My sinful life, yes. I was in sin. I did what I wanted to do. I mean, that, that was the result of it. My saved life, I am not a regretful saint. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because I did those things that God commanded. There's not one situation I can look on. Not one. And this year will make 25 years that I have been saved from sin. Amen. Not Glory one situation. God. Glory to God. And Amen. that's only been by the, the grace and the power of God. There's not one situation I can look back on and, and regret anything. Because I don't live my life in regrets. Yeah. And I was I was sitting there and I was thinking about it this week and I was thinking, Lord, there's so many saints that that, that they, they, they have regrets. You know, we have regrets because we don't let God take us through the whole process. We don't complete what we started out to do because halfway through the process we lose faith. Yeah. We don't truly believe that that God is able to help us. And I thank God that I, I don't that, that's not my life. I don't have that testimony. And by the grace of God, I don't want it. I am not a regretful saint. I thank God for every single day of salvation I have obtained. Amen. I'm very thankful. Amen. Thank God. I did what God commanded me to do. So I have no regrets. I can look back on the situation and say, you know what? That was the way God wanted it and I accepted it. Was it the way I wanted it? No. But was it the way God wanted it? Yes, and I accepted it. Yeah. In other words, I'm saying God's will supersede. Yeah. I'm not a saint of regret. I don't wish I could go back and change anything in my saved That's life. It. Yeah. Amen. Because I did. I started out with... I, when I first got saved, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna end with this. Pastor Sister Monica Jones. Come up. I, I remember when I first got saved, when I first gave my life to God. One of my one of I, I didn't have a lot of prayers for myself, like individual things that I wanted. Um, I did have some, and, and one of them was, I, I, I prayed. I said, Lord. I said, my prayer is, I want you 
to help me to do every single thing Amen. you're telling me to do. That's it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Every single thing you're telling me to do. That was my prayer. Amen. That was my prayer. And you know God fulfilled me. He helped me to do every Thank single thing Lord. he was telling me to do. I have no regrets. Yeah. And God called me home today. I got no regrets. Amen. Is there much more I would like to accomplish? Yeah, sure. I got some visions and dreams. I want to see some things come to pass, but not regrets. No regrets. I got no regrets about serving God. I got no regrets about, about where I am today. I, I, I remember I, I, was, I was telling, I was telling, I mean, I was telling my wife, we were talking this week, or was it last week? Anyway, we were talking, and and uh, and I and I was sharing with her, you know, because you know we sold our house and uh, we moved here, and I had so many um, ideas, so many different things that <clears throat> that I believe was God, you know, and. We had some money saved up. And two months after being here, I saw, I said, I saw the situation. I said, Lord, I said, I said, Lord, I said, um, I said, this situation is not going the way I thought it was. Right. He said, nope. <coughs> yes, no, 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 it isn't. I said, Lord, I said, I'm not going to have any more money, am I? He said, no, nope, you're not. I said, Lord, I'm going to be broke. I'm going to you are. But I got no regrets. Amen. No regrets. Sorry for God. About Amen. being broke. Amen. Because I did with God. <laughs> Why you say it? Because... <clears throat> If God want to bless me with some money, he can. Mm -hmm. And he will when, when he see fit. Yes, and he will. And he will. It's not going to stay like this. It's just, it just for now. It's, just, it's okay. It's just for now. This is part of the one. This is one of the struggles in the battle. It's okay. Mm -hmm. it, it, it builds character. Being broke <laughs> builds character. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Trust me. Believe me. <laughs> it builds character. Amen. It does. It, 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 I'm very thankful. I never missed a meal. <coughs> Matter of fact, I'm trying to lose some weight. <laughs> you know, I'm not starving. I'm not. I'm not out on the street. I got everything I need. I'm very thankful. So, saints, don't leave today with regrets. Amen. Don't don't leave saying I wish I would. Amen. Why would you do that? Yeah. When you can accomplish what you want to accomplish now. Amen. You just got to be willing to do what God is telling you to do so he can make that happen. Yeah. But don't live in regrets. Don't say, you know, I, I regret it I didn't do that last year. You know, I regret it I didn't do this. This. Year. That's no way to live. You know what I'm saying? You can't be happy living in regrets. Right. And I was just thanking God. Lord, I got no regrets about salvation. I got no regrets about my life. Because I did everything that you commanded me to do. So we thank God. Um, amen. We uh, begin our scripture over in uh, Saint, uh, Mark, the ninth chapter. I had some more, but but uh, but but I believe that God had me to share what he wanted me to share with us. Amen. This morning, for the glory of God. So I'm, I'm very thankful. I thank God for being saved. I thank God for all the saints that's here this morning amen. with us. Amen. It's a true blessing. Amen, Sister um, Ariana. Got saved this morning. Amen. 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 I said, I wish I would have gotten saved when I was a little kid. Amen. You know, yeah. I wouldn't, wouldn't have to be involved in all that devil man I was Thank involved God in. Experience. Amen. Amen. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have had to be been, been involved in some of that stuff, you know what I mean? But but God knew my life. He knew the road I had to take to learn what I need to learn That's to get it. to where I, I, I you know, 
I, 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 am, I am right now. So when our children can make that decision to want to serve God in their youth, that's a real blessing. And that's mm -hmm. what the Bible says. He says over there in uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 11, remember, not the, creator, not remember, remember thy creator in thy youth. Yeah. You know, so yeah, some people are going to be 80 years old and get saved, but God don't want anybody to give 80 and right. then get saved. He wants somebody to be 80 and saved. That's you know right. Saying? Yeah. 12, 15, 20. You know, he wants some, some young people that can get out there and run because you 80, you ain't going to be running nowhere. Right. You know what I mean? You know, it's a different life. You know what I mean? And that's okay. So some will be saved later on, but, but when you can get saved at an early age and learn God at an early age, it's, it, it, it is a, a real blessing. So. Yeah. So we thank God for God showing us favor and blessing us this morning. I don't take it lightly, but God sent us a soul to be saved. That's that's serious, especially when it's a child. That's serious. That's real. It's a lot of responsibility and commitment, too, that's placed on us to help these children to, to make a better world. Because it ain't going to get better just by itself. It's not going to happen. It's going to take them, in their turn, making the impact they're supposed to make on this world in, in the way of God. So I thank God for being saved. Appreciate God for his goodness. We're going to call Sister uh, Monica Jones up to do the uh, benediction and, and, uh, and, and prayer. Amen. 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 Thank God for being saved. I know I had a, um, a thought on my mind um, while Pastor Robert was preaching, and it, he, was, I, I was, he was talking about you know following through what the Lord has for you and obedience and believing God. And I, I was reading in... Um, Second Timothy about Elijah when he had his servant go to the the edge of the, oh, yeah, the mountain yeah. seven times, you know, and he didn't really know how many times it was going to be, but then after the seventh time, it started to rain and the drought was going. And I said, sometimes we don't see, we had to complete the process to get the blessing, you know. Amen. Sometimes That's we true. have to go through the whole seven times in order for the Lord's will to be fulfilled. Look, you guys, stand up when I say stand up, okay? All right, stand up and sit down and 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 stand up and sit down. That's seven times. Now imagine you had to walk all the way to the end of the mile and back seven times. And you're like, how many times I got to do this? You know, sometimes we gotta complete the process. That's sometimes right. That's it true. seems tedious and it's like, okay, I'm done with this now. <laughs> but the Lord's like the Lord's like, I want you to go through, all the way through, and then I'm gonna bless you. Thank the Lord. You yeah. know? Thank God. Um, if anybody has a mind to be saved, if anybody has a, a mind to turn their heart over to Jesus Christ, um, you can pray this prayer with me today and you can be saved. If anybody that has a heart to turn their life over to Jesus Christ, pray this prayer with me today. You have no, no, no. Okay. Um, um, go ahead and bow your head. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful service, Lord God. Anybody out there who has a mind to be saved, anybody who has a heart to turn their life over to Jesus Christ, Lord God, if they believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins, My God. if they believe that he yes, rose Lord. again after three days, and gave them power to live a sin-free life in the church of God, then they could be saved. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Now, if you prayed that prayer with me today, then you're saved. You can contact Pastor Robert Duvenary at 562-261-7055. Again, that number is 562-261-7055. Sister Monique has updated our website, finally. Amen. And it is, what is the website? Church of God. S T B Church of God S T B uh, dot com dot com. That's the whole thing. Church of God S T V dot com. Church of God S T V dot com. So we have a uh, still still small voice. It stands for S T V means S T V stands for still small voice. Still small voice. Um, so we have a Houston website now. Um, we are going to update all of our things. So anybody who goes to the website for donations or goes to anything, we have a new website now it's finally updated for houston so um we're going to be sending that out and if you know anybody that wants to go to the website or wants to give a donation or wants a prayer request or anything like that go ahead and forward the new website to them okay and they can also watch the services and different things um while they're um while they're there 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and conclude our service at this time. Um, if you can bow your head. Like and subscribe to the YouTube oh, page. Oh, like and subscribe to our YouTube page so we can get our thumbnail and different things like that. This is the one you try and Subscribers. Get. We need subscribers. And subscribers. Because if we don't have a subscribe, we have to pay for it. So, um, so like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and close them. Yes, this is Dume. So, Mark, I need you to, um, can you ask for prayer for uh, Brother Curtis? No. Brother Curtis, he know who he is. He's on Facebook. Okay, so uh, Sister Duvenere is uh, giving a prayer request for um, uh, Brother Curtis. Um, we're going to uh, include that in our uh, closing prayer uh, for Brother Curtis. Um, if anybody has any unspoken, you can raise your hand and we'll include those in our closing prayer as well. Um, two, two, two unspoken. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and conclude. Let's stand for our prayer if you are able to stand. <coughs> Amen. All right. Um, I'm actually going to have Sister Monique do our uh, closing prayer. Amen. Thank God for being safe from all sin. Thank God for being safe from all sin. Bow your head, Saint. Um, dear Lord, thank you so much. Um, I think about that picture that Sister Harmony drew. You will bring um, saints to the church as you see fit, Lord yes, God. God. One soul at a time, Lord God, as you see fit, Lord God. You know the case of every single person, every single soul, yes, Lord God. Lord. Like you said in that scripture, 2 Corinthians 2 and 17, you will not have to fight in this battle, yes, Lord God. Lord, help yes, us, Lord God. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, Lord God. There's so many things that go on. On that that have to be that have to play out like Pastor Robert said. Step back. Sometimes it looks like I don't know what you're doing, and that'll make look like make no sense. But Lord, yes, help Lord. us to stand still, Lord God, and to know that the what you're doing, Lord God, the way you're working things out, Lord God, is the way that things have to be done, Lord God, according to people's souls, Lord God, according to people's situations, Lord God, according to people that are in uh, under certain amounts of pressure, like Pastor Robert said, and people's situations and dealing with things that are in their life that we have no idea about, but you know, Lord yes, God, yes, you know Lord. their exact situation, yes, Lord. you know their exact heart, Lord God, you know the exact time that they're going to get saved and want to stay saved and be a powerful saint to fight for in yes, this yes, world, Lord, Lord God. God. Yes, Lord God, to, to be excited, Lord God, about salvation, Lord Amen. God, Let's, yes, Lord God Lord. to be examples, Lord God, to those who want to come to be saved, Lord God, to know that salvation is wonderful, Lord God, help us to make salvation attractive, Lord God, to those who are around us, Lord God, thank you for your will, Lord God, thank you for your way, in the name of Jesus, I pray, amen, amen, amen. thank God, she said, make the way attractive, amen, amen. Glorify God in our salvation. Glorify God in being able to live a sin-free life. Glorifying God, being able to worship God wherever God is allowing us to Amen. worship. And I'm grateful for it. You may have a seat, you guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and conclude our service at this time. Have a wonderful and a blessed evening.